Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Vagi Scan Light tutorial. My name is Michael Skopchanov and this time I'm going to show you how to use Vagi Scan Light with Silverx WP241 module. For this tutorial I'm using the same setup as in the first part of the series. Let's begin by starting the application. First, I need to enter the IP address of the module. To do that, I press F6 and type the address, which in my case is 22. Then I press F5 to connect. Once the connection is established, the mask of the module is shown on the screen. It consists of three parts. At the left hand side are the indicators. For WP241 there are Belt is running, Totalizing active, Totalizing enabled, Totalizing fault, Zero offset procedure active, In zero offset range, Service mode and fault indicators. Here are the buttons for executing commands. Start zeroing, Set belt is running, reset belt is running, and the reset commands for the totalizers. And finally, a display with a table of the totalizers with name, value, and units, and a meter for the flow rate. When I send the set belt is running command and change the load, the reading is changed as well. which by the way is the same as in SIVA tool. When the totalizing is disabled, the corresponding indicators in Vagiscan light go off. If I enable the totalizing, the indicators turn green again. If I enter service mode from SIVA tool, the service mode indicator in Vagiscan light turns yellow. When I exit the service mode, the service mode indicator goes off. If I disconnect the measuring cell, the fault indicator turns red to indicate an error. When I connect the weight cell again, the fault indicator goes off. If the load is too high, the meter changes its color to red. When the weight is in zero offset range, the command start zeroing can be executed. If I enter the service mode and change the units, The display in Vagiscan light is updated immediately. When I click on Reset Totalizer S3, the value of this totalizer is set to 0. To monitor the database, I press F7. The table for WP241 is shown. There are 10 columns Record ID. IP address, a timestamp, units, and the values of the totalizers S1 to S6. Each time the totalizing is deactivated, the current data is recorded in the database. From here, I have the option to export all records to a CSV file by pressing F8. Now I have the content of the table as comma separated values ready to be imported in programs as Excel for example for further processing. I can also delete all records by pressing Dell and 
confirming the operation. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.